Look, I'm going to say this a few times during this series called Life. If you don't ask the right questions, you never, ever get the right answers. Why is that? Because life doesn't tolerate a vacuum. In the absence of light, there is darkness. In the absence of truth, deception. God says it this way. He says, Hosea 4, 6, he said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. They die because of what they don't know. We have cute little sayings like, well, what you don't know won't hurt you. But the truth is, what you don't know could kill you. Ignorance is not bliss. It's dangerous. It's painful, it can be addictive and disastrous. Frederick Douglass, the great abolitionist and orator, he once said this, knowledge makes a man unfit to be a slave. Oh, I like that. We must ask the right questions. Some people are afraid of you asking those questions. They want control over your life and your freedoms. They use activism and media, government and education to remove deductive reasoning from the conversation, all so they can push their new religion of subjective morality, so they can be the high priests, if you will, of an, an alternative life. Why does this matter to you and me? Well, think about this. The cookie doesn't decide what it's gonna be. The baker decides what the cookie's gonna be. The cookie may think, well, how arrogant of the baker to think that I can't evolve into whatever I wanna be. What you and I know as we look from the outside in is the only option the cookie truly has is to either fulfill its destiny in being a cookie or fail to be a cookie. Now this cookie may choose to think it's a steak, but at the end of life, when science does the autopsy, what do you think they're gonna find? Yeah, that's right, at the core of the cookie, the cookie was always meant to be a cookie and only a cookie.